America's most notorious publication, is now entangled with the world's richest man. But there may be more to the story than meets the eye. This is Unpacked, where we break it all down. Jeff Bezos versus the National Enquirer. On January 9th, the National Enquirer published a story that Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos had been, quote, caught cheating on his wife of 25 years with the spouse of a Hollywood mogul. The story came just hours after Bezos and his wife Mackenzie announced their divorce in a tweet. In a blog post on February 7th, Bezos accused American Media Inc., the publisher of The Enquirer, of trying to blackmail him with, quote, embarrassing photos. According to Bezos, they were threatening to release the photos unless he stopped pursuing his own investigation into the tabloid. Now, here's where it gets interesting. AMI CEO David Pecker is a friend of President Trump. In September, AMI worked out a deal with federal prosecutors after they admitted to working with the Trump campaign to kill stories, quote, about the presidential candidate's relationships with women. Trump has repeatedly decried the Bezos-owned Washington Post as fake news. For their part, the Post has criticized the president's handling of Jamal Khashoggi's murder. Khashoggi was a leading critic of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, an important ally to President Trump. Saudi Arabia and I get along great with all of them. They buy apartments from me, they spend 40 million, 50 million. Am I supposed to dislike them? The New York Times reported that Pecker used his own connections to President Trump to cultivate ties with the Crown Prince and other influential Saudis. AMI went so far as to publish a flattering 97-page tribute to Saudi Arabia, featuring the Crown Prince on the cover. Bezos claimed in his own blog post that the WAPO's, quote, unrelenting coverage of Jamal Khashoggi's murder was, quote, undoubtedly unpopular in certain circles. However it all shakes out, this power move by Jeff Bezos gives a whole new meaning to upping the ante. 